Hey guys, how you doing? It is the Honeydew Carpenter and the always beautiful Mrs. Honeydew Carpenter is behind the camera. Today, I'm gonna show you something that is absolutely crazy and awesome. First, I'm gonna talk real quick about my infrared heat guns and how originally, five years ago, technology being what it was, how I determined how hot my stove was getting. Um, because this is my original heat gun. It quits at 750 degrees. It just errors out. That's all it will go to. Then I got another one, which at the time was the best I could do, which went to 1,000 degrees or 999 degrees. And that was a lot better for measuring the temperatures, you know, on the uh, heat riser and stuff. Now, this heat gun is a beast. Technology having advanced over the past five years, it has a range from 50 degrees centigrade to 1800 degrees centigrade, which is uh, around like 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 3,272 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now, we're running at the top about 650 degrees. Um, the fan's going, so it's, you know, uh, radiating off. If I didn't have the fan on it, it would probably be somewhere around 800 degrees, uh, somewhere there. But uh, now I'm going to do the inside wall, just kind of near the front of the stove, to give you an idea how hot the air creep keeps the burn chamber so can you see them now like there yeah okay if i go in and just in for like four inches um we're around a thousand degrees 926.2 degrees and that's at the front of the uh burn chamber well now now it went up to 1203 degrees and I just moved it in like four inches in. Now the back of the stove, if, if I put the um, infrared lights on that, we're running about 1,574 degrees. Turn it so I can see. But I don't, think that's accurate because I can't I got to get it to where the coals are down and I'm not going through flame because mm. I'm right there I'm just shooting the flame okay now that is a piece of dry wood. And the flames that come off of it are just kind of an orange yellow. Yeah, we're burning wet wood as you can see because the ends of it don't burn it forces the moisture out and then at the front of the stove where it's you know a couple thousand degrees it, it burns off it's really cool to watch so all this is uh wet wood that i split up it was fresh cut this year uh this fall and it was out in the snow and we went and gleaned it off of a slash pile that stuff back there is dry wood but i'll cut the wet wood up and just kind of stack it in place and it doesn't dry out all the way but it gives it a good start when you throw it in the stove the outside starts to burn right away and then it starts to gas off all the water it's kind of uh, uh interesting way that we've figured out how to 
burn wet wood. Oh, you're such a pretty girl, Bonnie. You're such a pretty girl.